now, here's meteorologist P.J. Del Santo with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Did I say that? Weather was nice over the weekend, and that will continue into Monday. Then we begin to see some changes on Tuesday. Ready? Let's get a look at your live mm -hmm. Doppler radar. Still not tracking any rain across the area. We are looking at the green right, right through Tuesday. Tuesday. Although, again, we have the chance for some showers on Tuesday. Doesn't look overly serious. Here's Newport. We've got dry skies over the harbor. Here's Providence. Highway bridge all lit up. A pretty scene here. 41 degrees. Wind from the west at 5 miles an hour. Down to 30 in Taunton. 32 in New Bedford. 35 in Chapachet, 41 in the city. Richmond, 32. Look at Block Island, 48 degrees. Fairly quiet across the entire Northeast. A little batch of snow and rain showers working across upstate New York. Other than that, not a whole bunch to talk about. High pressure controlling things up and down the eastern seaboard, keeping things nice and quiet and dry. Let's take a look at how it all plays out with our hour-by-hour -hour forecast. And we're looking at... Dry conditions through the night. Here we are, 8 o'clock in the morning, still looking at pretty quiet conditions across all of New England. Some clouds arriving from the west, but I think they'll stay away through the afternoon. This is 3 o'clock, still looking at sunshine. Now we take you into the evening. We'll begin to see some clouds working into the area, probably very late in the afternoon and during the evening. Your morning commute breaks down like this, 35 degrees or so at 8 o'clock in the morning, a little colder than that uh, at the bus stops earlier uh, with uh, dry conditions, dry roadways. In the afternoon, mm. we're looking at highs in the low 50s, so much like what we had over this uh, past weekend. Mm. 50 in Newport, 50 in Tiverton, Little Compton, 50 in Charlestown, westerly about 51, central, northern Rhode Island, Johnston, North Providence, into Providence, Cranston, and Warwick, all in the lower 50s with sunshine, giving way to some clouds, but I think we'll have a fair amount of sunshine even around sunset, which, by the way, tomorrow is about 436. Fall River, 51. 51 in New Bedford tomorrow, looking uh, okay everywhere. Here's that seven-day forecast. Let's go through this. Now, on Tuesday, we do have the chance for some rain showers. I think they may begin in the morning, perhaps just after the morning commute and continuing into a portion of the uh, afternoon hours, probably until maybe about 2 o'clock or so. But look at the temperature, a little milder, up around 60, 61 in the afternoon. Wednesday looks dry, temperature about 51 degrees. We begin to see more changes on Thursday, sun to clouds with some rain. Rain showers developing late in the day. And look what we have on Friday. First of all, it'll be a lot colder, temperature only in the upper 30s to around 40. And it's possible that we might have a, a coastal storm giving us some rain and we could see some uh, wet snow mixing in with that. Now, there are some computer models that say, no, this isn't even going to come close to us. So it's something that we're going to need to monitor throughout the entire week. At this point, it doesn't look overly serious. Saturday and mm -hmm. Sunday, upper 30s to lower 40s. But looks good for tomorrow. All right. Thanks, TJ, mm -hmm. so much. Coming up in sports...